Welcome to the fascinating world of traffic signals. In this video, we are going to go over signalized pedestrian crossings at traffic lights and how they are used to keep you safe on your daily commute. You're one of the many people that believes when you press this button that it does absolutely nothing. Well, let me tell you, you're not alone because even I feel that way at times because it tells you to wait and then it feels like forever when you actually get to go across the crossing. And the reason why it feels like it's forever before you get to walk across the intersection is going to simply be because you are not a priority over vehicle traffic. You see, a traffic intersection has to meet the demand of vehicles, pedestrian traffic, public transportation, emergency vehicles, etc. And you are just not on the top of that list as a walking pedestrian to allow yourself ahead of the vehicle traffic that is already currently at the intersection. But have no fear, let's go ahead and open up this traffic signal controller cabinet so I can show you the magic that those pedestrian push buttons actually do to give you an active crossing sign. So I'm gonna have my lovely assistant here go ahead and go across the street and press that pedestrian push button. And when she does, we're going to go ahead and open up this traffic signal controller cabinet so I can show you what happens when you press one of these beg buttons. All right, so she just pressed that pedestrian push button. And as you can see on the controller here, we now have a call in for approach four, which is this side street. And our pedestrian crossings always run parallel with vehicle traffic. And now they will end up with the active crossing sign when the vehicle approach also gets the green light here at this traffic light. Before that activated crossing will actually happen, we have to wait the queue of all the vehicle traffic here at this traffic light. So as you can see, we're about full of all the vehicles on all these approaches, and there is a maximum and a minimum amount of time. If there's no vehicles in the traffic intersection, it'll be a lower amount of time for you to get that green light or that active crosswalk sign. But as you can see, it also has to cycle around to other approaches like these vehicles across the street that were here first. And then it's going to be locking in calls for the vehicle and that pedestrian button's locking in a call for the pedestrian channel to go across the street. Now, unlike vehicle detection, the cameras, these vehicles, as they travel off the stop bar, they end up losing that vehicle call. A pedestrian push button will constantly have a call enabled in it if you press the button and it will not drop until that call has been served. So since I have the pedestrian push button activated, we will then get a walk indication like we have here once the vehicle detection also answers for the side street on the vehicle side but they would get a green light regardless because we pressed the pedestrian push button. Let's go over the wiring and how that works. And it's almost the same as an elevator call switch. We have a PLC board here, which is a programmable logic controller. And it's tied back to a CCU, which is just kind of the brains of the pedestrian system here at this intersection. And all this is looking for is a logic kind of a ground or a low voltage presence. This right here, these systems here are the push to talk buttons. To cross Mullet Road. And they are used to communicate with travelers going across the intersection, telling them to wait, telling them where they're at, the whole nine yards. So they use low voltage through these cables for the speaker and for the detection side of everything here on that push button. But the pedestrian push button itself is not the only smart device that is going on on this crossing. The pedestrian signal head itself is also the star of the show, I'd say. I think it's a little bit smarter than these buttons themselves. And let me show you exactly how they work. So those pedestrian crosswalk signals are wired up here on this traffic signal controller cabinet. The red is for the don't walk side and the green is for the walk indication. And then they obviously have a neutral landed back as those are powered by 120 volts. 
Now, the fascinating part is where the timer starts getting activated. And let me show you how that works because it may just surprise you. And if you didn't know, there's little brains inside of these pedestrian signal heads. So the pedestrian heads and all the traffic lights, everything at an intersection is controlled by this traffic signal controller here. So if we go and do phase data, which is three, pedestrian data, which is three again, and pedestrian times here, we have all the times for this traffic light crossing or pedestrian crossing here. And this is where it gets pretty fascinating, the timer and the countdown on the pedestrian head and how does it actually know what to present on the signal itself is going to surprise you. And that surprise is going to come from these two numbers here in the controller. So we have the walk uh, timing here for the crosswalk, 10 seconds, and then the pedestrian clear here is 12 seconds. That is not only how many seconds you get, but also how many times that hand is going to flash on the active crosswalk signal. And after a time or two that it cycles around, that crossing head is actually gonna recognize the amount of time that hand is flashing and it's going to count it. So with 12 seconds, the countdown for these hands is going to be 12 seconds and the computer on the inside of those modules is going to know that by the amount of time that this controller tells the signal itself to flash that hand. So if you're one of the ones that believe that these pedestrian push buttons don't do anything, well, I hope you learned something in this video. And next time you're here at a pedestrian crossing, you will use one of the pedestrian push button devices and safely travel across the traffic intersection. Also, shout out to Hank who made me these awesome bucket truck cup holders. I really do appreciate that, man. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And if you want to send me any kind of gifts like this, I'll list down the P.O. box in the description. Thanks for watching.